I'm Mrs. Schneider, and today we're going to be learning three-digit subtraction with regrouping. We're going to be looking at this problem that requires us to regroup from the hundreds to the tens and the tens to the ones. Mrs. Schneider had 531 cookies. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 10, 20, 30, 31. She gave away 175 cookies, so minus 175. How many cookies does Mrs. Schneider have left? That's what we're solving for. Okay, to solve this problem, we always start, start, start on the right in the ones place. And we're gonna ask ourselves, is there more on the top or more on the floor? Well, five is more than one, so there's more on the floor. And if there's more on the floor, we're gonna go next door and get 10 more. Here you see me next door, and I'm going to get 10 more and bring it over to my ones. Do, 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 do. All right, see how I regrouped that one pen into the ones? We need to see what we just did there. Look, do I still have three tens in my tens place? No, I don't. So I'm gonna cross out that three because I don't have three tens anymore. I took one over here, right? So how many tens do I have left there? Two. So I'm gonna change that three to a two tens. Well, we, make, we need to make sure we update our ones also because we don't have one one anymore. Now we have 10 plus one, which is 11, so we're gonna change that one to 11. And now we have enough ones that we can take five away. All right, let's subtract five. One, two, three, four, five. How many ones do I have left? Right, six, because 11 minus five is six. Next, we subtract our tens. Here I have two tens and I need to take seven away. Uh-oh, I don't have enough tens, right? I'm gonna ask myself, do I have more on the top or more on the floor? Well, there's more on the floor. So if there's more on the floor, I'm gonna go next door and get 10 more. Here you see, I'm going next door, I'm going to the hundreds place and I'm going to carry that that hundred over. All right, and I'm gonna break up that hundred into 10 tens. Ready? Bam, bam. There we go, now we have 10 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, because 10 tens equals 100. So we need to look at what we did over here. Do I still have five hundreds in my hundreds place? No, I don't, so I need to cross out that five because I don't have 500s there anymore. I re had regrouped one into the tens. So I'm gonna cross out the five and I'm gonna change it to one number less because I put 100 over here. So I'm gonna turn the five into a four, okay? And now I need to fix my tens because I don't have just two tens anymore. So I'm gonna cross out that two and I'm gonna change it to 10 plus two which is 12. All right, now I have enough tens to subtract. So I have to take away seven. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many tens do I have left over? One, two, three, four, five. Because 12 minus seven is five. Last, we're gonna subtract our hundreds. We have four hundreds and we're gonna take one away. There we go. All right, so how many hundreds are left? Correct, three, because four minus one is three. So the answer to this problem is 356. Mrs. Schneider still had 356 cookies left over. I hope that helped explain how you regroup from hundreds to tens and tens to ones. You guys have a great day.